chapter 16, question 5. Now, this is about reaction between halogenyl alkane with aqueous alkaline. Now, this is a hydrolysis reaction. Okay. Or nucleophilic substitution reaction. Where the halogen atom in halogen alkane is substituted with OH group. So halogen alkane will form alcohol. Halogen alkane forms alcohol. Now nucleophilic substitution of halogen alkane can be SN1 or SN2. Now SN1 SN1 is by tertiary halogen alkane. Okay. Well, SN2 is for primary halogen alkane. Now, SN1 will have a carbocation intermediate, while SN2 no intermediate. There is only a transition state. So, this graph, without two peaks, without two activation energy, okay, is actually the graph for SN2. If there is an intermediate like SN1, there will be two peaks. The middle, there will be a lower energy state for the intermediate. Okay. So there is no two peaks, there's only one. So this is SN2. Now, now we know that this is for SN2, let us look at the statements and see which one are correct. Number one, the reaction is an example of nucleophilic substitution. Yes, how do we know it's nucleophilic substitution? They give you the reactants and also product. So this is hydrolysis of halogen alkane. So it is an example of nucleophilic substitution of halogen alkane. Statement number one is correct. Step number two, between X and Y, okay, the C halogen bond will be lengthening. Now you see uh, from here to here, let us look at what happened. This is X will be the reactant. I'll draw an example of the halogen alkane. SN2 is for primary halogen alkane, so I'll draw a primary halogen alkane. That means the C bonded to the halogen okay, is also bonded to an R group. Now, when it forms the transition state, okay, meaning the hydroxide ion, yeah, Right. Okay, should be from the opposite side. Okay. A transition state is formed. Now I'll write down all the unaffected atoms or group of atoms. Okay, now CO bond is partially formed. So you have to put the dotted line. CCL bond is partially broken. Overall, this transition state has a negative charge because halogen alkane molecule is neutral 
but nucleophile has a negative charge. So overall, you have negative one charge. Now from this reactant to the transition state, okay, from the beginning, CCL bond is still strong. In transition state, it is partially broken. Now to break a bond, you want okay, the two atoms to be further and further away from each other. Get longer and longer the bond, then eventually it will be broken. So from X to Z, okay, there is a lengthening of the C halogen bond. So X to Y also, C halogen bond will be lengthening. So number 2 is correct. Now, number three, the energy difference between X and Z represents the activation energy. Yes, correct. Why? Because this energy state representing the energy for the reactants. Now, this part, this is for the energy of products. Now, we know that from here to here, is the enthalpy change but from here until here will be the activation energy so statement number three is also correct so answer for this question will be one two three are correct a